I spent a lot of time in the screencast talking about how great Drafts is. Imagine if you could add an item to Drafts or check your list just by looking at your wrist. Well, you can if you've got an Apple Watch and the Drafts application. So let me show you how this works. First, we're going to install the Drafts application on the Apple Watch. So here I am in the Settings application for the Apple Watch. I'm scrolling down to the Drafts application, and I'm going to say Show on Apple Watch. And I'm also going to install the Glance. Once that's done, it'll automatically install on my Apple Watch. Now let's take a look at my watch. Here's my Apple Watch face. If I want to get to the applications, I will press once on the digital crown. And that shows all my applications. You can see right there is the Drafts application. So I'll go ahead and tap on it with my finger. And that opens the Drafts application. Now currently I have nothing in my inbox, but Drafts is ready to capture. All I have to do is tap on the Capture button and then speak a new task. Call John about the new contract, period. When I'm done, I tap the Done button and it adds it to the Drafts list. In fact, if I tap on the Inbox button on the Apple Watch, you'll see there is my Drafts item. If I had multiple items here, you'd see them all listed. If I tap on an individual item, it brings me to this screen. And from here, I can act on the item by force pressing on the watch face. That gives me the ability to archive or trash the item, or I can prepend or append additional text. Just for giggles, I'm going to append some additional text to this draft. So I'll go ahead and force press and tap the append button and then dictate. Don't forget to remind him to read the notes, exclamation point. And just like that, I appended some text to my draft. You don't have to go into the Drafts app on the watch though. You can also access it other ways. For instance, I'm gonna go back to the Apple Watch face and then I'm going to swipe up to get to the glances. When I do that, you can see the Drafts icon and my inbox count. If I tap on that, it'll take me straight to the application. By default, when launching Drafts from the complication or glance, it goes directly to Dictation Capture which is really the best way to do it because you're going to want to capture your task as soon as you open the application. But if you wanted to do something different, you can disable this in the Apple Watch app on the iPhone. I can also add a complication. Now to do that, I'm going to force press on the Apple Watch face and tap the customize button. And then I'm going to put the drafts complication in the upper right corner. So I will scroll on the digital crown till it says drafts. And then I'm done. So I can hit the digital crown again and tap on the watch face. And you can see that I now have the drafts icon in the upper right corner of my Apple Watch. And it shows the current inbox count. What makes this really cool is that I can add a new draft just by tapping on the complication. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on it. Here's another task for drafts that I captured on my watch, period. Once I tap done, it's added. And now I have two items in my inbox. Because of the relatively slow speed of the Apple Watch processor and the small screen, a lot of applications don't make sense on the Apple Watch. Drafts, however, does. It's the perfect application for the Apple Watch. A lot of times when I'm working out or just walking down the street and I think of something I want to add to drafts, I just lift my wrist, tap the complication, and get going.